Hello, hello, my name is Denise. Welcome back to my humble abode. Today, I'm gonna go ahead and share some cozy puzzle games with you all. So you're excited, say hey, what's up? <laughs> That's so cringe. So you enjoy games like unpacking with very relaxing gameplay and scrumptious like storytelling, then these next games are for you. Let's get started. Assemble with Care is an adventure puzzle game where you play as Maria, a globe-trotting antique restorer who arrives in the sunny town of Bellariva. She's there to help save the beloved possessions of the townspeople. But when their personal lives start to fracture, she'll have to figure out a way to hold them together one spare screw at a time. In this game, you can figure out the inner workings of the objects brought to Maria and find a way to fix them. Meet the townsfolk of Bellariva while learning about their quirks and helping them reconnect as well as enjoy the handcrafted visuals. Currently, it's available on the PC, Mac, and iOS platforms. Fun fact, Assemble with Care was created by the same studio that created Monument Valley, which is an amazing puzzle game for mobile platforms as well. And another fun fact is that Assemble with Care was nominated for the BAFTA Games Award for EE Mobile Game of the Year, which is rightfully deserved as the game is incredibly satisfying once you go ahead and fix the broken item. It's a bit of a shorter story with two to three hours of gameplay, but I think it's really worth it if you enjoy like short and sweet games. If you're interested in maps, cartography, and exploration, this next game is absolutely perfect for you. Cardo is a relaxing map-based puzzle adventure game where you play as Cardo, a young girl who is separated from her granny during a storm. Thankfully, she has some pretty cool cartography powers, which allows her to map and manipulate the worlds around to help her on her quest to find and reunite night with her granny. While exploring the new environment she lands in, she discovers new pieces of the game map which players like us can rearrange to unlock new paths, puzzles, and stories. As Curdo traverses the strange new lands, she'll learn their cultures while making and enlisting the help of her new friends. Currently, Cardo is on the Nintendo Switch, PC, PS4, Xbox, and Mac. Cardo was actually one of the first games that I played on this YouTube channel. I had a whole Let's Play series that I have privated because it's kind of embarrassing, but it is one of those special games that I absolutely loved when I played it because it's relaxing, it's absolutely beautiful, and there's like a sense of adventure within this game because you play as Cardo, who is just lost, and adventuring this new land with her was such a good time for me. It's a five to seven hour story, so it's long enough for you to enjoy, but not short enough where you feel it's like too short. If you're a mischievous person who likes to have a little bit of chaotic fun once in a while, I think this next game might be absolutely the best thing for you. Donut County is a story-based physics puzzle game where you play as BK, who recently found out how to control a hole with a remote. Unfortunately, BK really likes prizes and will even swallow up his friends and their homes in order to get them. He eventually has to deal with the consequences of his actions once he falls into the hole himself and is confronted by his best friend Mira, 999 feet underground. In this game, you can explore every character's home, move the hole to swallow up their stuff, which allows the hole to grow bigger each time, combine objects inside for crazy effects, catapult things back out of the hole, and devour everything. Currently, Donut County is available on Nintendo Switch, PS4, Xbox, PC, Mac, and mobile platforms. Donut County has two hours of gameplay and is incredibly chaotic, so it is absolutely a fun time when all the things that are in the world just fall into the hole and your hole just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. I think that was like the most fun for me and also seeing like the commentary of like all of BK case friends going like bk what are you doing but i really enjoy this game and it has very satisfying gameplay so definitely try it out if you like chaotic games the next game i'm about to show you is also very chaotic fun and casual it's one of the games that i played as a child so it has a special place in my heart and hopefully you enjoy it as well katamari damacy is a puzzle action roll em up game where you play as the pint-sized five centimeter tall princely son of the king of all cosmos after the king accidentally destroys all the stars in the sky Earth's moon and other celestial bodies in the universe, save for Earth itself, he orders you to put the twinkle back in the heavens above. To recreate the stars and the moon, you go down to Earth with a Katamari ball that magically allows anything smaller than it to stick to it, which allows it to grow. Currently, Katamari Damacy Reroll is available on the Nintendo Switch, PS4, Xbox, PC, Google Stadia, and Amazon Luna. The new version of Katamari Damacy is called Katamari Damacy Reroll, and it's an amazing time. There's not that many changes 
changes at all. The graphics look a lot better and more beautiful, vibrant. Other than that, it's pretty much the same with some slight changes to the levels, but overall, it's the same. If you haven't tried this game out, I highly, highly recommend that you do try it out. It was one of my childhood faves. I used to play it all the time. It's like super satisfying when you have like a small Katamari ball. You're just like rolling up small little things. It grows larger and larger. And once you have like a larger Katamari ball, you can even run after humans and roll them up in your Katamari ball as well. So it's like really funny because then they'll like scream and run off as you just like chase them. It's my favorite little hobby. Just like chase them down. And they're like screaming. And like, ah! No, I wanna, I wanna live. It's okay. You, once you roll them up, they're not dead. They're just like forever stuck on a star in the sky. So, uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's all right, right? <laughs> the next game I'm about to share with you all is about death, but it is a very lighthearted game. So do not be afraid to go ahead and try this out. I Am Dead is a puzzle adventure game where you play as Morris Lupton, a recently deceased museum curator of the tiny island of Shummerston, who was reunited with the ghost of his dog Sparky, only to find out that a disaster is about to destroy his beloved island. With Sparky in tow, they must uncover Shemmerston's ancient mysteries, prevent the island's volcano from erupting, and save the place they call home. They'll unearth a number of Shemmerston's lost and scattered ghosts by visiting the places they spent time in, diving inside the memories of the people who knew them best, and learn the stories of their lives. Morris uses his newfound power that allows him to peer inside objects as well as people to reveal their contents and memories like a supernatural x-ray. I Am Dead is currently available on Nintendo Switch, PS4, PS5, Xbox, PC, and Mac. So when I initially tried out I Am Dead, I thought this would be very, very sad because in the title, it literally says I Am Dead. So it must be sad, right? But actually, it is a very lighthearted game and I quite enjoyed it. I love like exploring the world as like a little dead ghost, you know? <laughs> and using my x-ray powers to find different objects that are hidden inside different places and nooks and crannies it is a very satisfying game and once you find all the stories hidden behind all the characters you feel like a very strong sense of accomplishment and fulfillment at least i did and hopefully you do as well if you reach this point of the video make sure to go ahead and type in the comments i am chaotic and let me know what your favorite game is out of all these games that I've recommended or just any cozy puzzle games that you've been really excited about recently so I can try them out myself. I make a lot of cozy indie recommendation videos and gaming content in general so if you like to go ahead and listen to me talk more about these types of things please subscribe like and comment. Thanks for watching I'll see you in the next one.